This is where mom and dad sleep. And Aphrodite and Omega. This is for the where we are sleeping video. Wow, that was interesting. Oh, okay, look at this. Look at this. It's going to be bedtime soon. And this is where we are staying. It's very dark. We're going to enjoy some light saber fights. And then I'll show you who sleeps where. We've got three different arrangements for three different things that have to happen in the morning. And that's how we decide on things. So I hope you enjoy this video. Very small. <laughs> okay, the reason they're under there is because they're filming where we sleep. Good morning, everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you the sleeping arrangements as a mum of 10 traveling through Europe with all her children. The reason you're staring at these little teddies, I just wanted to start the video off with them. But over here, this is the inside of our car. Normally, as I walk forward and we're traveling, those guitars are usually up the top and this bed here is usually lifted up. I'll turn around the other way. And over here, we have two beds also. These are all the time down. I'll just film that from the side. What are you guys doing? Making this bed. And how fast have you become at making it? Really fast. Three like to four three. minutes. Pretty yeah. good. The mattress goes in between. Yes. And we'll create the bed and we we'll remove those side parts. Okay, I'll cut here and we'll make it. Like my mom's videos, make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment. <laughs> this is where Cleopatra sleeps. On the top bunk. She's got quite a big area. Look at that one so you can see it. Up here. And at the moment, she's reading four books. You've read a little bit of each one? Yes. And some of them you've already read through? Yes. Which ones? Multiple times. The one that's on the bottom right. I've Nikki Cruise. About three to four times. What's in it, English? And run, baby, run. And you also met the author. Yes. I have pictures. I should post them. Oh, you should post them on Instagram. Okay, check out her picture on Instagram about yes. meeting Nikki Cruz. Mm -hmm. Romeo, what are you doing? I'm hiding. Because I'm filming? Yeah. Hi. I'm talking my head. <laughs> oh, you're a joke. <laughs> the boys thought they'd hide while I film. The reason these are going here... <laughs> the reason they're here is because at night, Paul and I sleep here and little Aphrodite and Omega sleep here with us. And this is Aphrodite's and this is Omega's and this is Omega's also. Oh no, I made it messy. You have to fix them up. Oh. They were friends. So. She's hiding from the video. <laughs> no, because we need to film it empty and full. Just for the video. Yes. You don't normally hide. Yes. You love being from the camera. Yes, I do. I love being from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reckon All has fallen over. This is Reckon and All. Yes, and they've been playing with him so much that he's lost. He lost his nose. Is this good? Yes. <laughs> Really hard to They're through. hiding for the empty tour because we're going to bring everyone in in just a moment. You can see your elbow. Okay, so. This car is empty. Shh, this car is empty. This is the first sleeping arrangement. Up the top here, we have Jerusalem, Romeo, and D'Artagnan. Then here we have Paul, myself, Omega, and Aphrodite. Over here we have Nefertiti, King James, 
and up the top we have Cleopatra and also down here sometimes we have Shakespeare because when we don't make this bed here which is for Shakespeare he sleeps in here so now I'm going to fill from one end to the other and I'm reminding everybody this is our first sleeping arrangement when Shakespeare's bed is not made this is how we sleep the reason we use this sleeping arrangement where we make only one bed is because very early in the morning after Cleopatra and I have got up we like to edit and read the Bible here that's why we don't sometimes make this bed for Shakespeare plus he enjoys sleeping with the others to demonstrate more better how we all fit in this arrangement, we went and got the children from outside. That's why they're wearing their outside clothes. Paul and Aphrodite and Omega sleep with me here. This doll is playing that it's me. Omega is actually falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so Aphrodite likes to sleep down this end or Omega and sometimes they swap and I give them some breast milk and up here we have Jerusalem, Romeo and D'Artagnan. They have got two people facing one way and, and one, one the other way. way. This bed is meant for three adults and I'm the only adult size person here. So we have a lot of room. A lot of room. Yes. They don't take anything. They just sleep in little balls. <laughs> and over here, on this end, we have Cleopatra up the top. And I have to remind people that this is the one where Shakespeare's bed is not made. These guys, they're wearing their outside suits right now, so I haven't let them lie down on the bed. But Shakespeare lies down over here, and Nefertiti and King James lie down on this side, and there's plenty of room. Is there lots of room? Yep, a whole heap. They always try to think of somewhere to hide when we do the empty film. We're just giving everybody a really clear example because we've had so many questions of how do you sleep in the car? How do you all fit? This is our second sleeping arrangement. This is the one where Shakespeare's bed has been made and Cleopatra and I won't be editing in the morning. Drew some Romeo D'Artagnan up there. On the right here. Paul, myself, Omega and Aphrodite. Shakespeare's on the left here. Right here, near the window. And Paul and I and the children are here. On the bottom here, there would only be Nefertiti and King James. And at the top, only Cleopatra. I know that bed on the right there where Paul and I are is not very big. But we're only there for six months and the little ones really want to sleep with mummy and daddy. So it's nice. Okay, let's get them all in and show how we lie in these spots. And now they can take their clothes off. Their outside suits are coming off. Show us this net that you have here so that you don't fall out of bed. Like that. Yes. And at night, when we don't want to put that bed up and we want to watch a movie, we put Omega up there and sometimes Aphrodite and we put that up and they have a nap there. And then later, we move them into the other spots. Mm -hmm. So it's safe, they can't fall down. Here, there is a curtain. So sometimes the children are up there watching movie and then we're watching another movie over here. It's actually really cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's your own little bedroom up there. Yep. Okay, let's go get them. This is our second sleeping arrangement where Shakespeare's bed is made. We went and got the children outside and they are having a little sleep right here. Omega. Actually, he did fall asleep and we put his little cozy suit on. Aphrodite, you're sleeping that way. As I said, we swap him around. <laughs> Up the top, we still got Jerusalem, Romeo and D'Artagnan. You have a lot of room? Yes. yes. Three adults can fit up there, so we've got the three right. boys up there. Sometimes Shakespeare has joined you up there. Yeah, sometimes it changes. Sometimes 
There's only two people up here because someone else wants to sleep somewhere else. Exactly. And Shakespeare, this is your area. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the little ones want to join you there. And I'm right next to that. Exactly. Next to the dream that's hey, us on this way. And you're like that. And over here, we've got Cleopatra at the top. Mm. And down the bottom, when Shakespeare's not there, there's Nefertiti. And King James. You've got your dinosaur and your buddy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you've got your lamb and your bunny. Emma, I, I get my, my dick. And you've got your bunny. Yes, look, Omega has. Yeah, Omega has a bunny also. And mine. But you've got two bunnies. Yeah, I get. Whose are they? Uh, Omega. Yes? And I got it. Yeah. There is a third sleeping arrangement. These little ones like to often sleep together in here. Yes. So sometimes we have Shakespeare, Nefertiti, King James, Aphrodite and Omega in here. Um, At first yeah. there's a lot of jumping and laughing and then suddenly there's silence. And in our third sleeping arrangement, three boys are up there. Paul and I are here. This bed gets left empty. Cleopatra's up there. And the reason we have an empty bed is because these little girls and these little boys sometimes want to sleep together. So we've got King James. Say hello, King James. Hello. And we've got Shakespeare hello. there. Hello. And Omega here. Hello. And Nefertiti and Aphrodite. Hello. Hello. And sometimes there's a lot of laughing and giggling and playing and then you all fall asleep yes. so this is one that they made up themselves they just like to be together in there no omega is not going to fall out he's usually on the other side but because he actually did fall asleep next to dad right now i've just quickly placed him here to let you see sleeping arrangement number three leaves us with an empty bed so you like it up there boys yes no, it's only for six months i don't even notice that they're in the bed your bunny's falling yeah i got your bunny hopefully we've answered everybody's questions about Hi, where boy. we sleep we've got a lot of room don't we guys yes, yes. and we've got this net under here we'll get out this never use never use because yeah. I used to sleep on a bunk bed with no rails, so I didn't really move yeah. it. Mm -hmm. No one falls out. And the little children never get to go up there? No. I'm saying this the second time. I hope we have answered everything that everyone wanted to know. We have three different sleeping arrangements. They change depending on how much editing Cleopatra and I need to do in the morning. One of which the little children made Hello. it themselves. Hello. Hello. Cleopatra actually fell asleep. Cleopatra. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you fall asleep really? <laughs> That's all right. We chose this one because it had eight beds. Yes, over and out. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Shakespeare. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye, Jenny. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>